Hello friends, my name is Shrine and it's time for more phone flings with Blush Blush. Hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. I always appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. And last time we uh, worked on Drake and Theo and it's time to see what Basil is all about. Then I'll have to reset and be sad. But Basil, salutations. Might I steal a moment of your time? Sure. I have an inquiry that needs to be sated, and yet I find myself unable to solve such. Perhaps you might lend me your ear. Of course I will. What do you need? Please don't be mad. Our eyes, considering that we're communicating on such an intimate channel. Oh, uh, very formal. Alright, sir, I'll lend you my eyes and ears. I'm kind of trying to get my data clicks in, but sure, what can I do for you? Very, very formal. Salutations and all that. Delightful. It always pleases me to have a cooperative witness. You see, if I I find myself in a predicament. One with a great deal of intrigue behind it, and one I must find an answer for. For you see, I have had something stolen from me. Stolen? Shouldn't you call the police or something? That's rough. The world is full of jerks. Fortunately, it is. You should call the police. Perhaps, I hope, at least, whoever did it is taking care of what they stole. The devastation I would feel, knowing that my precious belongings is being mistreated. My colleague, Winston, has failed to reply to my phone calls or letters of late. That means he's taking vacation. He even had the nerve to claim that I needed a new hobby. How rude. And having blood stains while playing on my violin is a perfectly acceptable hobby, thank you very much. Wait, how does that work? Analyze and play and what? Nevertheless, as I delve further into my collected clues, I stumbled across your number. Perhaps a sign that I am on the right track? Indubitably. Thus, I wish to ask you, my dear stranger, if you would help me solve this mystery. How'd you stumble across my number? Did I leave it somewhere weird again? That sounds like an awesome detective drill. I'm living for it. Good. That means you'll be more inclined to stay and assist me. Two thrill seekers on the hunt for clues is better than one, if I do say myself. Nevertheless, I am pleased to know that I have your company as we search for the culprits. I gain your name, however, before we delve any deeper. Marshmallow! After all, I cannot call you Cellular Companion as easily as I can address you by your name. Well, my name tag always says Marshmallow for some reason, so just call me that. Marshmallow! Though I don't mind you calling me your Cellular Companion either. It pleases me to know that I may refer to you with all sorts of interesting titles. But Marshmallow Wolf will suffice, considering the title of Cellular Companion belongs to another. <gasps> no! You may refer to me as Basil of Baskerville or Basil if you wish to drop the formalities. Consider me your guide, your confidant, your ally. And of course, the greatest detective to have ever made your acquaintance. <gasps> Picture! Thank you, Basil! Oh, I like his picture. Look at Basil. Serious about the detective thing. Okay. Oh, I like Basil's look. Very awesome. Very cool. I look forward to playing this game with you, my sweet. A hot detective calling me sweet? Be still, my heart. Game? I thought I was solving a mystery for Dashing Fellow. Be still, my heart. Hazel's hot. If you help me solve this mystery, then I shall call you many other things as well. Like a mason. Now the introductions are concluded, let us proceed. First, I must recollect my notes and scavenge for more clues. In the meantime, please familiarize yourself with any possible motives so we may dwell further into the criminal mind. After all, one must know the enemy inside and out in order to catch them. Right! I look forward to working with you, Sir Basil. 
Well, your enemy inside and out sounds a lot more inappropriate than that's supposed to sound. It does if you intend for it to be lewd and inappropriate. But if that's where investigation takes us, I would not mind engaging with the enemy, if you will. What? All right, onward in our investigation, dear Marshmallow. I gotta wait a whole day, sad face. All right. All right, onward to our investigation, dear Marshmallow. My sweet, have you come to any revelations yet? I found a plethora of clues, but I just need another perspective to hone in on my own infer inferences. I'm still trying to follow some leads, but I did have some things I want to ask. Actually, I want to take a different approach. I want to interview the victim. Interview, interview. Come on, like it. Oh, the victim? As in me. I'm not sure what information I'm capable of giving you, but I will allow this. Good. What would you like to ask, my sweet? Walk me through this. How did you get this something stolen from you? What did you even be targeted by the thief? Now what happened? How did you get stuff stolen? What's going on? Why that happened to you? Oh, it's really rather simple story. It's a rather simple story, really. I suppose I can eludicate my tale, considering that you wish to help me solve this mystery of mine. I found myself in attendance to a rather elegant and formal party, a masquerade as I recall. Although I'm primarily the, there with Winston in order to investigate a missing painting, I admit I did indulge. And as the night progressed, things became all of a blur to me. However, there was one thing that stood out in my mind. I was in the company of a rather illustrious and soft individual, thus I found myself charmed. Wait, I got a lot of masquerades. Did you meet me? Do you think they had anything to do with what was stolen from you? Hey, it makes me a pleasure, right? Hopefully you found the painting too. Was it moi? Marshmallow? Of course I did. I'm the basil of Baskerville, after all. I even managed to with the talking dog and find it first. I always did enjoy the sugar rush that victory gives. Regardless, you do make a good point there. For after the masquerade had ceased, I was lacking my prized possession. What are you... Uh, okay. Okay, game. What are you doing? Instead, all I was left with was a mysterious desire and a single clue. An unfortunate spot on my bridges. Did you spill something yourself or is it something uh, less savory? Perhaps a bit of both. This is an interview, not interrogation, my sweet. When do we get to my sweet? I'm confused. Oh well. You have to pry my lips open yourself if you desire more answers. I am most impressed by your interest in the finer details. Interviewing the victim is a very important task. Brilliant detective work, my sweet. Think I'm getting the hang of detective work? Heck yes. Now where's my reward? Yeah, where's my reward? So you just gave me a picture, so I don't think I'll get one. Patience, my sweet. The game only continues. You must find the truth of the matter. Once you finish collecting your clues, then perhaps you'll have your just desserts. Now then, we're slowly approaching the final phase of our investigation. I feel like he's saying, like, we stole his heart or something at a masquerade, <laughs> which would be hilarious. However, I shall leave you to organize your thoughts on whom the culprit may be. We are one step closer to revealing the horn who stole from me. Wait, something's not up. Can I ask you a question? Hey, before you run off elsewhere. Just doesn't add up. I don't think it's an item. So full of questions, are you? How delicious. What would you wish of me? I recruit my help and you could have solved this mystery yourself, Ace Detective. Why do you keep writing all these sugar re references in all caps? <laughs> yes, what's with the sugar rush? Not just sugar references, my dear. I also didn't feel high the word masquerade. Yeah, I was wondering about that too. It's like, that's not quite sugary. You're familiar with these, aren't you? After all, marshmallows are the talk of the ball during many of my date. At the talk of the ball? Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Take what you will with the clues I've given you, my sweet. But I believe you have one more clue to reflect on the soft and sweet thief from the masquerade. is me. 
A stolen my heart. I knew it. I, I totally knew it. <laughs> That's cute though. All right, time to get more for Basil. I like Basil. You should be almost done, right? The soft and sweet thief from the masquerade has stolen my heart. Well, if you manage to solve this mystery, my sweet marshmallow. Feed me on your thoughts, my dear. Well, I assume you knew from the very beginning who stole your heart. I'm on the right track, but this game definitely took a turn. Oh, no, it didn't. I've kind of known this for a while. I stole his heart. Oh, even knowing it. I've always known who did it. I have the greatest detective to have ever graced your presence. But continue. I'm listening. You met this person on Masquerade and fell for them, but you didn't get to tell the stranger before they left. Of course, as much as I enjoy winning, I believe this victory was meant to be someone else's. With these things in mind, I will finally ask you. Whom do you believe the true culprit is that stole my heart? I'm on the soft and sweet, slightly... <laughs> Villainous. Is it me? Oh, I hope it's me. <laughs> Be careful what you wish for, because you just might get it. Especially with how darling you've been. I should have revealed myself earlier. I saw you in attendance at the masquerade, and though when I laid my eyes upon you, I was smitten. I knew that after one glance, I had to encounter you yet again. For no matter how much I attempted to distract myself, I found my mind is filled with thoughts of you. I searched for you and devised a plan to entice and entrap you in this perfect little game of mine. Ah, okay. I like his elegant picture. Drinking some tea or coffee. I think it's tea. Pretty cool. I like it. Quite the elaborate plan, wouldn't you agree? It was, and you would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for logic, I suppose. So, after going through all that trouble, I'm hoping you're planning on asking me out. Oh, I intend on it. After all the intrigue and intellect between us, I certainly wouldn't wish to let the culprit who stole my heart leave. Would that make us arch nemesis of sorts? Hmm, interesting to ponder on. I most certainly enjoyed the little game between you and I. Like a game of cat and mouse, was it? Was it I who was the cat and you and the mouse, or was it the other way around? Regardless, I look forward to chance of solving more mysteries with you. Perhaps our next adventure will be us determining the mystery of where I may take you to dinner. Oh! <laughs> Somewhere of a fine dessert menu, I suppose. Sounds like a mystery indeed. Do you think we'll run through conspiracy theory along the way? I want dessert. Give me cakey. Oh, that is glorious. Is it now? Good. Unfortunately, our concert game has come to a close. I must bid you farewell for now. No, you must cut, stay around. Cake time. I must investigate a league of redheads before you and I can have a scandal in Bohemia. Well met, my sweet. League of redheads. I can't wait to see what our next tale may be. Until our paths cross once more. Oh, he's over? I like Basil. He was very elegant and uh, charming. Okay. Marshmallow stole his heart. I like it. Well, I thank you so much for watching Basil's own fling. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. I do appreciate it. Have an awesome day.